Well, hello there. Welcome to another quick little mail video here from Bounty Hunter Breaks. This is Boba Fetmi. And today I've got a package from... Uh, it's variants, but it's... Gosh, why can't I think? Alex Pardee for his companion card that he did for Ken Griffey. So it could be a parallel. It's hard to say. I do have a package from Cardsmith Breaks from a Series 2 hockey and then I've got a box here that is basically a Topps Vault product that they had for sale on eBay. So it's actually the first time I've been able to score one of the blank backs. It may not be the best name and stuff but I just wanted to at least get one to kind of see how good or bad that they are. And as well, to get an idea of how they package the stuff up. It looks fairly decent with that box. So again, this should be just Series 2 hockey. Uh, have the Bruins and the Senators. Let's see which way is it. So this way. So This was a half case break, which was kind of humorous in the sense that the t two of the relics that were pulled were... For the teams that I had. So I got a Parker Kelly Marquee rookie for the Sens, a portrait of Philip Gustafson, and a Shane Pinto rookie material. And there was something about one of the, oh, it was a Dazzler, if I remember correctly, that was damaged here for the Bruins. So we got the Brad Marchand canvas, Charlie McAvoy, Dazzler. Well, that doesn't look bad. So, what am I? Or was it on the back? Oh, yeah, it's the back. You can see it's got a huge crease. So even though it looks fine on the front surface, you can actually see this mark going right across here where it looks like it was just folded and then... So I don't know, since I did it with an online break, I don't know how I could get a replacement from Upper Deck, but I'll try contacting them on that. And then a marquee retro rookie, or no, just a marquee rookie, sorry, Oscar Steen. A young gun of Oscar Steen. And I want to say I got his canvas young gun out of series one. And a Jack Akan rookie material. And we'll go to the top's vault. Check this out. And again, like I say, they certainly packaged the heck out of it. So given how this went, I probably would look at these in the future. So they do have a nice little certificate of authenticity that comes with the item. So it does give you a fancy little certificate. And this is from... I think it was Gypsy? No, not Gypsy Queen. What was it? Gosh, I'm trying to remember what the product was. And they put it in a freaking one touch. So I guess these were, would be considered proofs. Allen and Ginter, right? And it's got the nice little genuine secure so that's pretty cool looking so again it's just a blank back and it does even have a top vault sticker on the top of it so that goes with it let's set them in the background there for now 
And on to the Alex party. So is this going to be a one of the variations, or is it just going to be a base? I like it because he always does them in these cool little bags as well. I opted not to try for the like an autograph version. So is this the back? It is the back. Nope, it's just a base. So there you go. Just a base Griffey. Still cool looking. I mean, it's got a nice foil shine to it. And then on the back here, the little Brightmare logo of Alex Pardee's also has that same hollow look. So yeah, I'm going to look forward to the rest of them. He was talking about how the if you take and are buying these, that if you turn around and create the account on the Variance website and you purchase all the companions that he does, that you will be eligible for a bonus. So, so yeah, something to look forward to for the rest of the summer. So again, that concludes this mail video. It was going to be fairly short anyway, but yeah. So hope everybody has a great rest of your day, and as always, keep collecting.